viewers welcome to our freeze concept tv headline i wonder whenever they say tunumbu rigged election when those in power did not want him asari dokubo former ninja delta militant leader asari dokubo has voiced his skepticisms about the accusation of electoral rigging against president bola Ahmed tunumbu in the 2023 presidential election in a recent interview, Dokubo expressed his wonderment whenever such claims are made considering the power dynamics at play during the election. Dokubo highlighted the powerful forces in the country did everything in their capacity to ensure Tunumbu's defeat in the poll. He said that Tunumbu's name didn't even appear on the ballot, um, leaving many to question how they could have possibly rigged an election he wasn't officially contesting. Support his um, since and Dokubo pointed out the action taken against key figures after the election results were announced. Tunubu alleged victory supposedly lead to the arrest of the Economic and Financial Crime Commissioner EFCC Chairman and the Government Central Bank. Such action, according to Dokubo, indicate that the power that be were not in favor of Tunubu's win. Furthermore, Dokubo claimed that the rigging was orchestrated extensively in Lagos State and Abuja, heavily favoring Tunumbu's um, opponent. Despite this alleged obstacle, Tunumbu emerged victorious, leaving a profound impact on the Nigerian political landscape. I wonder whenever they say Tunumbu rigged the election, how can he win those in power? Did everything to make sure Swatu did not win the 23 presidential election. That Aswatu did not even appear on the ballot and in turn they allowed him to rig the election. If Aswatu leaked the election, will he be arresting the AFCC chairman and the governor of the Central Bank of those in power rigged the election for him? The board that orchestrated the rigging in Lagos State and Abuja were heavily read, ready to prevent the move from reading, but at the end of the day, he won as well as the victory has changed Nigeria. Former Ninja Delta militant leader Shari Dokubo has voiced his skepticisms about the accusation of electoral rigging against President Bola Ahmed in the 2023 presidential election. In a recent interview, Dokubo expressed his wonderment whenever such claims are made considering the power dynamics at play during the election. Dokubo highlighted the powerful forces in the country did everything in their capacity to ensure Tunumbu's defeat in the poll. He said that Tunumbu's name didn't even appear on the ballot, um, leaving many to question how they could have possibly rigged an election he wasn't officially contesting. Support his um, since and Dokubo pointed out the action taken against key figures after the election results were announced. Tunumbu alleged victory supposedly lead to the arrest of the Economic and Financial Crime Commissioner EFCC Chairman and the Government Central Bank. Such action, according to Dokubo, indicate that the power that be were not in favor of Tunumbu's win. Furthermore, Dokubo claimed that the rigging was orchestrated extensively in Lagos State and Abuja, heavily favoring Tunumbu's um, opponent. Despite this alleged obstacle, Tunumbu emerged victorious, leaving a profound impact on the Nigerian political landscape. I wonder whenever they say Tunumbu rigged the election, how can he win those in power? Did everything to make sure Aswatu did not win the 2023 presidential election. That Aswatu did not even appear on the ballot, and in turn, they allowed him to rig the election. All right, viewers, you have listened to today's news. Asari Dokubo is actually saying something. I, okay, the headline, let's read the headline. The headline says, I wonder whenever they said to the the election, when those in power did not even want him. Asari Dokubo. Huh. Now, um, you know, since, let me let me digress a little. Let me digress, then we'll, we'll come back to um, the report, the headline. Um, you know, this Nije stuff, eh, I've been expecting Asari Dokubo to say something, but Got your first song, Coco. I have not said anything. I do not see anything. He did not say anything. Because ah. you know, when they are threatening his organ, you know, Tunubu is his organ. So I was thinking that, okay, oh, he's going to say something. He's going to go to your song, Coco. I've been waiting to read from him. Say, hey, on those that are threatening my president, my hoga, my father, Kineko, Kineko, go to your song, Coco. Like, okay, mm, maybe we'll talk about this. You know, you can talk anyhow. Mm, okay. Let's get back to our our um, news reporting. So, okay, somebody here says, let's read comments. We have a lot of comments from a lot of people. We'll be reading comments right now. So, all right, somebody here says, um, hmm. It is because some people are just um, beclouded by the noise in their head of their candidates being popular. Hmm. But they say the truth is always bitter in the ears of self-righteous and self-delusional. Okay. Somebody here says, um, you are just being senseless. 
somebody here says, Thank you, Do Kubo. But it says, Don't mind Peter Obiatiko and the Fulani ex president Buari. They all failed with all your lies. All right. Somebody here says, That's expensive. Thank you, Do Kubo. Hmm. But then Nigeria had a best friend. Nigeria had a best free and fair election in 2023. Really? Now, somebody in the comment section is saying that Nigeria had the best free and fair election in 2023. Are you sure? Because with the whole thing that was the whole um, video that we're seeing flying on social media, if you, if, 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 even if you type um, things that happened during the 2023 presidential election that was not okay, uh, if you type it, you're going to see a lot of videos where... I remember when um, Chuma Chukuka, an actress, was... Um, she did a video where people where some hoodlums came to scatter their areas, trust their ballot buses. They voted they, they, because they were, they were very they themselves were like we're not gonna agree. We're not. They voted. They finally voted. Some places, some places, Aina came very late. So I, when this person said Nigeria had the best free and fair election in twenty three, are you sure? I'm not trying to cite anybody. I'm just saying because with all the videos that was flying all over the internet, are, are those videos fake? That woman that got injured, a lot of people that got injured because of the election. Was it real? Some, 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 um, the umbrella paper were not carrying some, um, some parties, um, name nor even logo. You had to even, um, has explain it when you see the logo. Sometimes, ah, oh, okay, okay. All right, somebody here says, hmm, must Dokubo Asabi be blamed for defending who he supported to have won the election? After all, you are defending who you also believe to have won too. Dianeka declared the winner and the matter is tribunal. What has the Kubo Asari done wrong? It is only you can say the truth. Only okay, what is the truth? All right, somebody here says, um those saying Tinubu rigged the election cannot prove it. They they all stayed at their re respective polling units and seen all that was going on in every other unit. All over Nigeria, even all the INEC staff in all the state didn't do their work well, according to them, since their candidate didn't win. Hmm. Alright, somebody says this is very first time we are going to be the same page. You are very correct on this. Somebody says his name did not appear on the ballot box yet he won. What an irony. Somebody here says you are now afraid that he will be knocked out soon. Somebody here says see yourself. Now only you get mouth to talk. Somebody here says okay. Um, okay. What me? What me? I'm trying to say. Most, most people saying that um um last this 2023 election, this year 2023 election was um was free and fair. I I to me I did not accept that because. With all the videos and pictures flying all over social media, I I think a, a lot of a, a, a lot of harm were were done to people during the election period because I, I feel it was not a really free and, a free and fair election. I remember one time um during that period where somebody um, from where I stay wanted to go and vote and he was like people were telling him to vote for a particular um party. I should not vote for this party. Should vote for this party. So, like a lot of controversy. Some people were not able to vote in some areas. A lot of things were flying up. Well, let's not really, let's not really um say much on that. Since the the case is still in tribunal, and um you know when you're when you're supporting somebody, you do everything to defend that person. Even if that person did something wrong, you still do everything why to defend that person why because you're supporting that person. So let's not let's not let there's no problem. We'll wait for tribunal to announce the result. Whatever tribunal announces. It is well with Nigeria. Alright, viewers, so if you have commented on today's news, please do it by the comment section. Let us know what your views are. Thank you for listening.